Hello there, it's Sev from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this video guide on the Eberspacker Airtronic diesel heater controller that you see here in front of me. Very, very simple and easy to use. Now, this diesel heater has a diesel burner, of course, to generate heat and then a 12 volt powered fan that is used to blow that hot air into your vehicle. And you can operate the heater and therefore the fan combined, or you can operate just the fan on its own if you so wish. So we're gonna do that first. We operate that just by pressing the fan button that you see here. We'll get a blue LED appear here, and shortly thereafter, the fan element will start and start circulating ambient air. Uh, now it's important to note that this isn't heating anything. It's not cooling anything either. Even though it shows here, of course, a blue LED, it's just, intaking air and blowing it straight back out again, circulating ambient air, but that can be quite nice on a hot still day. To turn that off, just press the zero button. Easy as that, and then shortly afterwards, the heater cuts out. Next up, you have the diesel heater itself, the main operation, which is going to use the fan and the diesel burner. We press the radiating symbol here at the top, we'll get a red LED, and we can then choose our desired temperature or adjust our desired temperature with the thermostat. Easy as that. And then to turn it off, we simply press the zero button. Um, it's as simple as that. Now, it's worth noting that the diesel heater doesn't come on immediately. There's quite a sort of startup cycle, if you will, with units like this. So it'll take a little while for it to get up and running and get to its target temperature. Um, it also isn't a completely quiet operation, um, but it's certainly not uh, super, super loud. Um, and also it takes a little while to shut down as well. So once you decide to turn it off, the unit will go through a cool down cycle as well. So if things don't happen immediately when you press buttons, don't be worried, that's perfectly normal. Now, normally in most leisure vehicles, the diesel heater draws from the main vehicle's diesel tank. Uh, so I would make that assumption unless you are told otherwise by your handover specialist in case there is a dedicated tank for your particular diesel heater. But like I say, in most cases, it will draw from the main engine uh, diesel tank. Now in professional installations there can often be sensors installed that can be uh, fitted to the fuel tank. These sensors will essentially um, be triggered should the diesel level run low and that's usually somewhere around a quarter to a third of a tank. The idea being if you run the fuel to that point then the diesel heater will cut off and that prevents you from running your diesel tank completely empty and potentially being stranded um, as a result of leaving your heater on for too long. So uh, as such when you are troubleshooting why your heater may or may not be working uh, one of the first things to check if it doesn't seem to be functioning correctly is that you have enough diesel in your tank um, especially if it's drawing from the main engine tank like most will be uh, just double check that you do have at least a quarter to a third of a tank in there at the bare minimum um, and then you should be fine the other troubleshooting thing is as well as checking your leisure battery voltage so whilst of course this is using diesel to do the heating your leisure battery typically will be powering this now again it does depend on your installation but it will be taking a 12 volt power feed in most cases this will be your leisure battery uh, where fitted and it takes a little bit of voltage to uh, do the ignition process so again if the controller notices that there isn't sufficient voltage in your leisure battery it may not even attempt to start so those are your two first troubleshooting avenues if you do get any issues uh, but any further troubleshooting is beyond the scope of this video this video just designed to show you the basic operation uh, which we've covered uh, already now of course if you do have any questions please do not hesitate to ask your handover specialist specialist or your uh, salesperson. I'm Sev, I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.